In this video, I reviewed the best cheap coping saws on Amazon, plus some bonus content on using a coping saw. Coming up. Hey everyone, it's David here from David's DIY Reviews. On this channel we do tips and tricks, how-to videos, and product reviews just like this. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. The first coping saw I reviewed is the Great Neck Tools and it retails for $13.06. Right out of the packaging, the Great Neck Tools coping saw seems to be pretty nice. It comes with four blades, three extras, one fine, one medium, and one coarse. That's really good. A lot of coping saws you buy don't come with any extra blades. The first nice thing about this saw is how the blade mounts. It mounts like a traditional coping saw, which is good because a lot of cheaper coping saws you'll buy, especially online from different places and different companies, is they'll have like a loop on the end or some weird design that that company came up with. And those saws aren't going to work with blades that you'll find at your local stores. So that's really good. Um, it's got a plastic handle which is you know not ideal not perfect but it feels good also inside the plastic handle is a metal insert which is what screws on so that's good at least it's not going to strip out it also comes with the great neck limited lifetime warranty which is a really good warranty basically what that means is any time that you own the saw and you feel like it's not up to your standards or it's break or damaged you can send it back and they'll repair it or send you a new one that's really good on a cheaper coping saw. The pluses on this saw have got to be the four blades it comes with, the mounting points, and I think the negatives have got to be the plastic handle. It's a little short. I mean, it could break easily. And the C portion of the saw is just a steel rod, and they tend to not stay as tight or be as tight to begin with, but all around, definitely a good buy. The next coping saw I reviewed is the MD Building Supplies, and it retails for $14 on Amazon. The first thing I notice about this saw is it's uh, a saw used for marble, tile, and stone. That's the blade it comes with, and it only comes with one blade. It's a really nice blade, actually, though. It's a diamond-coated blade. Um, the other downside is it doesn't have a traditional mounting point. It has the loop style, so if you want to cut anything like wood, plastic, you're going to have to find blades that work with that style of mounting point. Also, it has a, a plastic kind of rubbery handle, which, which feels nice, but it's plastic, so it's not that great, really. The other kind of downside of this saw is there's actually no physical kind of screwing in, screwing out, tightening motion. The only way to tighten it is to actually squeeze the blade to pull the blade off, or I should say squeeze the C to pull the blade off and then squeeze it to put a new one on. And to keep it tight, you kind of have to put pre-tension on the saw. It's not really that great. I mean, you get what you pay for, I guess, with this. There's also no warranty. Um, for a cheap saw for cutting marble or stone, I would definitely recommend this. But if you're looking for a saw to cut wood, plastic, more traditional coping saw purposes, probably not the right one for you. However, though, I reviewed the MyTech coping saw, and that's a really good buy for all around. That's the next saw I reviewed. And hey guys, if you're maybe just buying your first coping saw, or you want to hone in your coping saw skills and get into a little more work using them, I've made a video in the YouTube card above on how to use coping saws. It's a great little piece of content, so don't be afraid to check it out. And if you get value out of this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Back to the reviews. So this is the MyTech coping saw, and this is a really neat saw. I'm kind of excited about this, actually. Um, it has a lot of unique features. One is it's the wire-style blade, which at first glance you wonder how well does that work, but believe me, this blade actually works really well. The next thing about it is the tightening motion. It works by having the back part of the C slide back and forth, and there's a set screw to keep it in tight at the tension you want, and to remove the blades are screw on, screw off. It's, uh, it is the loop style blade, which is not really a traditional style coping blade, but being that it's the wire type of blade, that's the way that they tend to be. And this is a really nice, neat little saw. I really like this. This saw retails for $11.99. That's a really good bargain for this saw on Amazon right now. Um, it's, got a, it's got a plastic with rubber grip handle, which like I say, isn't great. But because the handle isn't actually the tightening mechanism, it's just a static handle, 
It's not a big a deal. It'll probably stay in good shape, probably stay intact for a long time. A little downside is also there's no warranty, but on the upside, this wire style blade, these are gonna cut wood, they're gonna cut soft metal, they're gonna cut plastic. On um, a really good quality one, will actually cut glass. I mean, the, the, the potential advantages of this style of coping saw are huge. I didn't used to be big on this style, but I really start to like them now that I see saws like this. It also comes with five extra blades. That's really good. I mean, at this price range, coming with any extra blades, that's a really good deal. And don't forget to tune in every Tuesdays and Wednesdays for more content just like this. See you in the next video.